Well, despite the rain, these UAW workers here in Centerline are standing strong together, marching for what they believe is right. UAW President Sean Fain is expected to hit Facebook Live tomorrow, potentially calling more facilities to the picket lines, and that could have a big impact. We have to have solidarity and, you know, try to turn the tide. And that means despite gloomy weather, marching along the picket lines for better pay, cost of living adjustments, and ending tears. The unions have a role to play to try to improve the inequality in our country. As the UAW and Big Three's negotiations stand at a stalemate, the picket line in center line is holding up despite this ominous weather. It's straight, you know, yeah. real smooth day. Hopefully it don't rain no time soon. John is optimistic. He's brand new to the strike and brand new to even being an auto worker in general. I've been here for three months. That's got to be pretty wild that you just started the <laughs> job. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. He's hoping a deal is reached soon. This week, GM offered its sixth contract to the UAW. Details were kept private. GM also laid off more than 160 workers in Toledo. The company secured a $6 billion line of credit for support through what may be a long haul. Ford also feeling the effects of the strike, laying off 400 workers across Livonia and Sterling Axel, bringing the company's layoffs to more than a thousand in total. Stellantis, after a last minute new offer, was spared by the UAW last Friday when UAW President Sean Fain called upon GM's Lansing Delta Township plant and Ford's Chicago plant to walk off. With another Facebook Live from the UAW set for tomorrow, more facilities could join the strike. These picketers say they're in this together. One family, that's it. Yeah, all right. Trying to, trying to get it, trying to get it, the best pay we can. Now, each Friday, we have seen UAW President Sean Fain call upon more facilities to join the fight. It doesn't necessarily mean that he'll call upon them tomorrow. We have seen a lot of last-minute negotiations with the big three that have spared some of those facilities from being called upon. So make sure to stay tuned. We'll keep you updated. Reporting in Centerline, Scott Walchek, Fox 2 News.